Hey everyone, welcome to On The Beat. I'm David Wilson, as always joined by Stephen Bailey and Trevor Hess. These two will be in the Carrier Dome on Saturday for Syracuse Colgate, then Stephen and I will be in the Dome on Monday for Syracuse St. Francis. Technically the first game of the Maui Invitational. Uh, one week done, Syracuse is 2-0. I think we all expected it. They won in convincing fashion, really in both games, even though they had a little scare at the beginning of Cornell. Uh, what are your biggest takeaways from week one? You know, I think we've seen C.J. Fair be more of an athlete, be more of a ball handler. Uh, he scored very well, but he struggled with turnovers. You know, at, at halftime of, of the second game, he was on pace for having 15 turnovers through the two games. He had, he had seven against Cornell, and then, you know, he was up to four in the last one at halftime. So we got to see him take better care of the ball. Other thing we've seen is Tyler Ennis and Michael Benajay get more comfortable at the point. Uh, Jim Bam said that the toughest thing to do in college basketball is to coach a backcourt and get them kind of ready and sharpened for the season. And both of those guys are inexperienced, but I think they've really come along nicely in the first two games. And will continue to get better and more comfortable on the court. Yeah, I think we've got to see a little bit about of what Jeremy Grant is going to bring to the team this year. Without him, they fell behind against Cornell, and then with him in the second game, he was had his first career double-double and was pretty much dominating every time he was on the floor. Uh, he's clearly going to be a great rebounder for them. Pro I would guess will probably lead the team in rebounding this season, and he's a dynamic scorer, I think, he's developing a jump shot, able to dribble the ball a little bit. Um, the big story, though, around college basketball in the first week, other than all the freshmen, has been the fouls. New rules have really slowed down the game. Uh, 55 total fouls in the Syracuse, Col uh, Syracuse Fordham game. Uh, and it seems like an issue that there needs to be some sort of resolution to, whether it's teams getting more used to it or the officials maybe cutting back a little bit. Yeah, it didn't take any time, that's for sure. I mean, you, you looked at Twitter after you know, the first week of games, and, and B.J. Johnson was complaining about it. Chris McCullough, Syracuse is a big commit for next year, is complaining about it. LeBron's complaining LeBron about it. LeBron is complaining about it. It's you never even played college basketball. Yeah. It's it's definitely the biggest story in the nation right now, and I think it's something that you will see get straightened out. You know, it kind of has to happen. Um, it's got to be low from both sides, I think. It's pretty interesting because there's kind of a mixed reaction from the players I talked to about it. Like some people say you have to change your approach, but others say you don't at all because you simply you kind of pretty much just have to play better defense. That's the main thing. So I think that's why the rule is implemented. But at the same time, it really slows things down, and I think it just kind of detracts from the overall like beauty of the game. So. I don't know, kind of mixed on it. Yeah, I like the, the hand checks, cracking down on that a little yep. bit, because that's, that's it's frustrating to see guys get hand checked all the time and get away with it. Um, and I think it does help some players, too, because it lets you go to the rim, but that's when you probably like to see guys swallow their whistle a little bit more and not call a foul every time Jeremy Grant attacks the rim or C.J. Fair attacks the rim. Uh, Syracuse will take on Colgate on Saturday. It's the first game of this upcoming week, 4.30 p.m. in the Carrier Dome. These two will be there. Around the same time that Syracuse will be playing Florida State in football. So, which margin of victory will be bigger? It's going to be close. I actually think it's going to be pretty close. But I'm going to go with basketball. And I think that uh, Syracuse is absolutely going to blow Colgate out. I, I think they might crack 100. And they're going to win by a lot. Florida State's going to win by a lot too. But I think it might be like 40 to like 45. Some kind of in that area. Yeah, I think we're really close to I think the main difference is that Syracuse in its first two games in basketball, they really haven't blown the team out as much as maybe they were expecting to or other people expected them to. So I think they'll kind of want to just pull Colgate. I think they'll win by a little bit more than Florida State does. I think Florida State wins by more. You get seven for a touchdown, they're going to score a lot of touchdowns. That is correct. Yeah. Uh, all right, be sure to follow us on Twitter at DO Sports all week long. We'll have lots of basketball coverage for you. And be sure to check dailyorange.com slash sports.